As Trouble Fire is coming on stage to join Concert Fire for these next two songs, I want to tell you a little bit of the story behind uh, our next piece. It's called The Awakening. Uh, we talked about this in class, and it turned into a, a pretty emotional 10-15 uh, minutes for a lot of people in class. It really kind of touches a lot of people where, uh, deep in their soul. The story behind this, let me back up, the text behind this starts, uh, you'll hear the sound, it's, it's kind of nightmarish, eerie, creepy. The text begins, I dreamed a dream, a silent dream of a land not far away, where no birds sang and the steeples rang and teardrops fell a dream. Dreamed a dream, a silent dream of a land so filled with pride that every song, both weak and strong, withered and died. I dreamed a dream, a silent dream. It sounds like a nightmare. In reality, it wasn't a nightmare. Uh, there was a town in Texas in the early 90s that because of budget problems, the school board decided that the way that they were going to save their school was that they were going to cut music. Not just chorus, not just band, not just orchestra, everything. Elementary music, general music, from high school, middle school, elementary school, everything was just gone. So we talked in class for a while about what that would mean to everybody in here, and I asked them how many of them met their best friend in chorus class. So you raise your hand. How many of them uh, became best friends with somebody in chorus class? It's kind of a uh, touching moment for us. Um, fortunately, we're <coughs> halfway through the song, you hear the mood change from this kind of somber, nightmarish sound to this joyous, uh, upbeat section. The words change, awake, awake. Wake my soul and sing, the time for praise has come, the silence of the night has passed. Uh, what happened in Texas was that the community stood up and said no. They said this is too important to us, we're not going to let it happen. They started off by going and doing bake sales, yard sales, car washes, to be able to uh, buy music to be performed, to repair instruments, to fund the choral department. Teachers were volunteering their time. Uh, eventually, the school board realized how important this was to them and they caved in. Um, and they put music back in the system. And the last thing that we sing here is let music never die in you, let music live. So to the community that we think would have our back in the same situation, here's the way.
Thank you.